Hey guys, Greg with BTOD TV and BTOD.com. In today's stability test, we're going to be taking a closer look at the SHW electric standing desk. This is one of the most popular, inexpensive electric standing desks currently found on Amazon.com. Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch these stability videos before, we like to look at a standing desk stability at various heights with various weights applied to the surface. And if you'd like to learn more about those heights and why we chose them, I recommend that you check the link in the top right hand corner for the video standing desk stability testing explained with that let's go ahead and get started with our first test before we go ahead and jump into the first test there's a couple things that we are going to want to talk about here number one is the setup as you can see we do have three cinder blocks on the surface this is going to allow us to hit that first 100 pound mark Additionally, we're gonna to wanna to talk about the weights that we're testing and where we're gonna be testing them. So this does have a pretty light capacity at 133 pounds. So we're gonna do 100 pounds, then we'll do 133 pounds, and then we'll check it at four different heights, both wobble and rocking motions, just to give you a general idea on what this desk would be like at those weights with those, or with those weights at the different heights. With that, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we've got it set at the bottom here, again, about 28 inches. This desk goes from 28 to 46. So we're gonna check the bottom for wobble first, and at the bottom it's nice and solid. And rocking, same thing. Desk is nice and solid. Now we're gonna bring it up to 39 inches. This is the height for the average height female in the US, which is about 5'4". They would use their desk at 39 inches. So we'll go ahead and bring it up. So you can tell the desk is not very fast. And we're there, all right. So at this height, the frame itself is pretty lightweight. That's not gonna help matters too much because it's hard for it to stay planted. I mean, the weight of the, the actual stuff on the surface weighs about the same as the actual desk or maybe a little bit more itself. So you can see, you know, this is a light duty product. It's pretty easy just to get the entire frame moving around when I'm doing the rocking motion. You can hear the feet popping uh, and hopping. Same thing here with the wobble. The whole desk wants to scoot. So there's, you know, there's really not a lot happening with the frame here. So we'll go ahead and bring it up to the next height, which is 42 and a half inches. And this is gonna be the average height for a standing male in the US, which is 5'9". They would stand at 42 and a half inches. You can see it really doesn't take a lot to kind of get this thing going. I mean, it's it's lightweight. There's really not a lot there. So that's the, the big issue for this desk is the frame is just so light. And while the, I wouldn't say that the fit in the columns is great. I just think overall that there's just nothing there's really no substance there. So because of that, you're seeing the entire thing move. Now, when we take this up to max height, which isn't too terribly much higher than this, it's about 46, maybe 45 and a half. You can see the same thing. I mean, it's, it's about the same. When we're doing the rocking, you can see if I just push my thumb on here, I can get this thing hopping all around. You can see the feet moving all around. So overall, just a, a ton of movement. So we're gonna bring this back down to the bottom. We'll add a little bit of additional weight to allow us to get to our 133 pounds. And then we'll show you what it's like there. For our final test, we've got 133 pounds on here. You can see the setup, four cinder blocks, plus the five pound dumbbell, the weight of the surface. We'll go ahead and check it at the bottom. We'll do the wobble test. I'll say the one thing that's good here is that when it is at the absolute bottom, the SHW is solid. And if you've watched the FlexiSpot EC1, which I would say is somewhat of a competitor of this because it is a product that is lower cost on Amazon, that one had a bit of stability issues at the bottom. So this I would say is an improvement. When we bring this up to 39 inches, we'll go ahead and see what it's like. So, I mean, not overall, it's not bad right there at 39 inches with the wobble. Now the rocking, 
You know, I think some additional weight is helping kind of keep those feet a little bit more planted on the floor. There's some movement there, but you know, that additional weight downward on the, the force down onto the frame is helping. So we take it up to 42 and a half. You know, unfortunately, when you get up a little bit higher, it's not, it's not gonna perform quite as well. I'm just looking to see if there's how much movement's in the column there. But this thing, you can, you can really hear those feet hopping off the floor. So to be honest, I mean, you know, left to right wobble here, it's, it's not that bad uh, with this weight on there. But when you check the front to back rocking, it's just a ton of hopping on that frame. So we'll take it up to the max height here and we'll take a last look at that and see how it performs. You know, wobble wise, I mean, there's, there's definitely movement, but you know, it's really, it's really this front to back rocking that's more of an issue, to be honest. And when it's fully extended, as we've seen with other standing desks, this is when you know, this is when the desk is going to be the least stable, so it's not surprising that there's more movement in the columns here at this point. But this, this hopping that's happening on the frame, it, not a great thing. And I mean, it's just because of the fact that it's a, a lighter duty product overall. I mean, this is a home use, not a commercial grade product. I wouldn't use it as a commercial application. So SHW, is it stable? personal preference there. I, I don't think necessarily front to back it's great and a lot of that again has to do with the fact that it's a lightweight frame and there is issues in the column with the front to back rocking. Left to right overall actually not terrible and I think it performed better than some of the other products like maybe for instance the Autonomous that's their pro model. I think it did better than that on the wobble. Um, maybe the another example would be uh, the desk that we just tested which is the FlexiSpot EC1. I think it performed better wobble-wise to that even. So at the price point, kind of expect what you get, right? You're not paying that much for the desk. It's under $300. Keep your expectations there and it might work out for you. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future Standing Desk content. Thanks a lot for watching.